Greetings! I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. And Harold also says this is Epic Tech. Hi, Harold. How you doing in there? Yeah, okay. So I uh, actually replaced that wall right there with a little thing so we can see him. Isn't that cool? Yep. <laughs> actually, uh, one of the comments said something about tickets, please, or something. He seems like kind of a ticket taker right there, doesn't he? Except... He seems a little too angry to be a ticket taker, but he'll hang out there. Today we're going to do something different. Uh, we're going to work later on the catapult. I got a bunch of awesome suggestions from the comments, and we're going to try some of them and things, but not right now. Right now, I want to work on this area here. In this space this general space. I want to build a library, a bedroom of sorts, like kind of like a personal rooms sort of thing, and whatever else kind of goes along with that. But I'm not sure what does, so we'll figure it out. The very first thing I thought of is the research table. Which really shouldn't be called the research table anymore because it's not where you do research anymore. But that's a whole other thing. And I was thinking it needs to be as close to light as possible. It also can be closer to the window. You know? I mean, you need light to do stuff like this. That's close enough. It probably should be facing the other direction so that the light can come in through the windows, blah, blah, blah. But this will be good. I'm fine with that. And we'll set up torches and stuff around that but I also need some bookshelves and I was thinking if I place bookshelves kind of along here something like that and then we can put walls can we no we can't not like that we can't oh right because these spaces are already taken with things and the curved walls don't like to share there we go so I can put a wall along like that but I'm also thinking, do I want to do stone walls on the inside, or do I want to do clay walls? I think I'm going to stick with stone. Doesn't The clay doesn't look right in here. It's lighter, is what I'm thinking. So we might have to do some extra shoring up underneath just to make sure things don't collapse, but we'll be okay for now. And I'm thinking this can't be any smaller than at least here. We need to think about how we want to be able to get into this set of rooms. So, being that the stairs are right here, that means that we've got kind of a... We need like a hallway here. So let's think about this. If I do a hallway here, then that means my door or my walls are going to be there. That could work. I could also go with the whole curve motif. Yeah, I like that. Matter of fact, can I, eh, nah, I think we'll just stick with this. Yeah, that should be good. So this would then become my library. Uh, let's throw down some bookshelves, and I'm thinking that we can go all the way to there with a bookshelf without it looking too funky. And then we might be able to even put something there, like maybe a standing, ah, yeah, like a standing torch, which I happen to have nearby. It was just temporary at the time. So now we can put a standing torch right there. Now I'm a little bit worried about the structural integrity of this area, because these stone walls are not on top of any kind of stone structure. I mean, they're on the wood structure, obviously, but... I also need a doorway of some kind. Now, into a library, we might be able to get away with more of just an open arch. So we could have an entrance like this. It's a little, you know, short. Feels a little odd. The doorways normally go higher than that. Not to mention that you can see some of my bookshelf there. Not that I, I mean, I can move bookshelves around. Mm, I think we're going to go with a regular door. And I think I will go ahead and, I mean, if I'm going to have a doorway, I might as well have a door in it, right? Then I can close it up if I need to. I'm going to need planks. 
Yeah, this looks nicer from the inside as well. This is good. And we're gonna wanna start organizing in one way or another. So I'm thinking green ones, which these are, um, e each one of these is a different category in knowledge. So if we open this up, there's civil, economic, and military. And I believe that it's red is military. Blue would be economic or civil. Yeah, 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 civil. And then green would be economic. Something like that. Don't quote me. Actually, I'm going to stick this one separately because this is my treasure maps. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And we'll put up some other things. So in here, I've got kind of all my expensive stuff. Oh, plus some overflow. And then we've got some shelves. And I'm thinking this is also going to be my area for displaying my unique items. We'll have to figure out what to do about that. It's not shouldn't be a problem. Putting down a couple of stone cubes. Oh, I need some more sticks. So I was told that if I did not put down the Epictetus version of the King statue, that I would lose a subscriber. Yeah. And I can't allow that to happen. So here we are. We're going to do it. Um, we're actually going to put down two of them. You don't want to place there? Why don't you want to place there? Maybe we need to place them elsewhere. Maybe they need to go here. How does that look? Um, no, probably not there. What if I put it there? Okay, that works. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I'd say that's sufficiently royal. Is that acceptable? Will you stick around as my subscriber now? Okay, that's good. We'll put in the proper materials too. Uh, 10 metal ingots and 10 cloth. I can handle that. Oh, and more large stones. And while we're down here, I was sent the most beautiful thing. I gotta, I gotta pull this up for you. This was hand drawn by one of my subscribers, fans, whatever you want to call them. And this is awesome. I absolutely love this. So we're going to actually make this pretty much exactly as he designed it. Yeah, it's nine high in the back. I need a whole lot more of those. Uh, I am going to do this without the chair in the back. He's got the chair actually in there, and I'm not going to do that. One, two, three, four, and then one more here and here. Okay, two, two. Now let's see, will it let me get away with that? It will, yay. Now is it gonna let me get away with, this is what I was having trouble with last time. Yeah, it doesn't wanna let me do that. So I will have to put up a temporary thingy there and there. And then I can come around as long as I aim it at that, it should be good. I think I can, yeah, I mean, it still stays there. It just doesn't want to set there without something to push up against it, you know. These are on their side. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then he actually had the chair in here, this sort of thing, or was it like this? It may have been like that, but I don't think I don't I don't think that's necessary. I'm not ever going to actually sit on this throne, so you know, mine or otherwise. I don't think. Oh, we actually can. Oh, beautiful, man, that's gorgeous. Look at that, a throne fit for a, well, whoever. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, I do have to sit on it once. I'm sure that the throne maker sat on his throne at least once. <laughs> the best I can do is kind of crouch on it, but still, that is that is quite the majestic throne right there, I gotta tell you. Enough, enough playing around. 
And the cool thing is, is I can actually put things, like I could put a banner up here, or I actually, so I've got, I've got the uh, ancestral torch back here. So I actually could kind of put it here. This is like the throne of the ancestral torch or something. I hate that it's like only a one spot thing though. Stick it over in the corner or something. No, you know what? I think we're going to have this up in the library. We'll put something else here. Maybe we'll put a sign that says whose throne it is. Something like that. We'll figure out something. But that is a beautiful throne for whatever purpose we have. Thank you very much for that. Not, not just the beautiful design, but also the beautiful hand-drawn instructions. I, I honestly... I love them. I absolutely love them. I want a copy of that to hang on on my wall in my office. So I just reloaded the game, heard this big crunching sound, and um, found this. Not sure what exactly caused it, because I didn't change anything, but I think it recalculated something, and not good things happened. Okay, well, we can... We can shore this up a little bit. At least now we know where the weakest point is, right? So I think we're going to need some columns or something around here. That should do the trick, right? Maybe? Maybe we'll set up another one kind of opposite that. There. Okay, let's go fix what's broken up here. This, that, but for some reason it won't let me put a floor there. Why? Does it not like me? I think it doesn't like me. This seems okay now, though I am kind of wondering if everything's going to fall apart the next time I load. I guess we'll find out. Okay, everything stayed together this time. That's good news. Now the question is, can I put a floor here? No. No, I cannot. What if... Wh <laughs> what? <laughs> That's floating on something magical. Magic is cool. So what... If I were to take a bundle of sticks and chuck it out of my inventory. It falls to the ground and damages the floor. Welcome to uh, the world of medieval engineers. That is so bizarre. What if I remove this? This? That? Wait, do you see what I see? There was a damaged floor there with nothing but a few pixels. Uh, fun. We now have a whole floor. I am happy. All right, so let's continue this a little bit. We're going to need ourselves another wall here at least. And I was looking at this. I just set up these torches, and I'm thinking this room here with the bed. It could very easily be... Can I... I can't place a wall. Oh, I can wouldn't let me on the other side. So if I place a wall like that, and like that, then I've got kind of this little room here with just a bed in it. I can put a wardrobe in here, maybe some other stuff. Doesn't need to be huge. Maybe some seating, small table. If I do that, let's put the door there. So maybe instead of this, we'll do these facing the inside. This room doesn't need to be that big anyway. So we'll do this, this, that, and one more. Instead, I'll do this here. And then over here, I'll have my own private entrance into the library. Oh, 
All right, I like this so far. All right, I think back in the king's room, what do we got? We got gonna want a weapon rack here. I think it may be right behind the door. I gotta remember, it's the one that has more slots in it. Is the one that's first. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. We'll fill that up later. Put ourselves a little table, little reading table here, maybe even kind of more desk style like that. We'll put a chair there and then a wardrobe there. That looks good. Put a little bit of food on there and hey, how about a little bit of a chest here? Little isn't quite the right word for this chest, huh? Okay, we'll bring one of the small chests. We'll put a large one here. And all of my ink and stuff is back at the farm. So I think I'm going to head over there real quick. What? Travel limitations. Oh, guess what ran out? Uh-huh. Okay, I lost my um, claim block over here, so that's good. I've been waiting for that claim block to go away so that I could put this one up. Hang on, I gotta go there. Can't remember how to go there. Do I, st what? Oh, I didn't lose this one, I lost the far one. Well, that doesn't help. I need to lose the other one. Oh, really? That was holding up that? Well, I'm glad I didn't lose my um, claim block. Okay, didn't expect that to be quite so delicate. Uh, let's put this back. Okay, we might need to make some changes then. Well, can I get away with removing this one? Okay, nothing broke. That's good. How about this one? Okay, that that worried me. So we're gonna put this back in on this side. And then we're going to place this here. So the idea is that there's now kind of this flat place where we can get onto the stairs. Also, when you come down these stairs, you end up facing the actual throne room. So that's a good thing. But then we're gonna have to remove these. And then my thought is that I'm gonna have another stop right here so that we can actually get, you know, over there. So I'll put up a floor here. I don't know, should I do this? And I could even replace this guy. I guess that's okay. It's gonna be right here. Which is going to change where this comes out. But that's okay. So we're gonna take that out. And it's interesting, I think we can't walk down. No, we can, hmm, interesting. And then can we get rid of that without things falling apart? We can, excellent. So now I can actually come down here and stop at this level. That's nice. Or I could do this. I wonder what that would look like. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Do another one over here. So now I got this weird little heart shaped opening, kind of. That's kind of strange, but oh well. He's okay. Okay, I think that this is starting to come together as a library. I moved some stuff around. And I'm going to move this bookshelf right up against the wall here. Let's see. I started to place... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want the wall showing through. That's just awful. There we go. That's better. And I'll move this one to match, I think. Oh, I didn't even notice that that's, that one's showing through, too. I think. There we go. That's better. 
Yeah, I started to play some of these and they were just a little bit away from the wall, but when you walk through the door you could see behind them and I didn't like it, and so... I actually like the way they sit up against the door frame there. So this is working well. I put all my schematics here and my treasure map stuff there. But we need to label this. I, I, I want to have some way of identifying what's what. And I was playing around with how to label this. And you can't put a sign here. Even if you could, it wouldn't look right. And, like, if I put a sign kind of sticking out like this, it doesn't really work in this place. And if I put it there, it's kind of back behind. So I was thinking about putting up some sort of backer board like this. Not sure how it's going to look. Let's see. Oh, that looks great. Oh, that actually looks a lot better than I expected it to. I was thinking I was going to have to do more to that, but I think that's fine. There. That looks kind of good, doesn't it? I think it looks okay. Come on here. Actually, we don't even need us um, to say anything. We can just pick a picture. Here we go. So I can just show map pieces like that. Ooh, it's hard to see, though. <laughs> At least for that one. That's okay, though. It gives the idea of what it is. Because these are my finished maps, and these are my map pieces. Now, the other thing I could do is a large sign, like that. But I think that that's not going to look as good. Yeah. It, it's easier to see, that's for sure, but... I don't... It doesn't look quite right to me. Okay, I'll need one more sign, but we can deal with that later. I like this. This actually looks really good. So, I can add in a lot more. I can. I was thinking that I can either turn this way and have kind of a, a row. Have back-to-back -back bookshelves kind of running along here. Or, depending on how many bookshelves I actually want, I might just leave it at this for quite a while. And then I think I'll throw in a table with some chairs around it and some other just decorative stuff. But for now, I think we're done here because the sun's coming up and this is a perfect time to start playing with the catapult again. Because that'll give us a whole day. I was also trying to come up with a way to kill off these, these barbarians that always end up hanging out just right there. This is like, these are like the places that they hang out. And I kind of want to just find something that I can drop on them or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's play around with a couple of the suggestions that you guys had. The first one... Let's pull this back. The first simple one... You don't want to... You don't want to stay? What's your deal? Stay. The first recommendation that I got was have the stop bar higher. So we're going to try that. Now that'll give me like lots of places to try out this stop bar here. Of course, if I can't get this guy to stay... Oh, well, there you go then. Oh, yeah, he's, he's upset. Also, I didn't realize this. Uh, you don't have to like try and aim the projectile. You can actually just hit F and it'll drop a thing in there. It'll take something from your inventory and put it there. Cool, huh? Anyway, let's see how far this will go. I don't think it's going to go very far because it's not even pulled back all the way. But... Oh, wow. Well, that was just about perfect. Let's pull this back down again and try that again. Are you going to stay this time? I want to turn this. I don't think I can anymore with that. Let's try this again. Uh, that's the other one rolling back down to me. <laughs> that's great. I think the other one actually might be rolling down too. Let me see if I can do that again, but use spectator mode to follow it. Actually, here, I'm going to I'm going to bring my spectator camera all the way over here. And then that way hopefully we'll get a view of it coming this direction. Load it. Fire. And then spectator camera. Oh, wow. It's actually going too far now. That's awesome. Okay, so 
there's a barbarian right there. I'm gonna try rotating a little bit, which means we're moving this stop bar. There's enough weight on this now that it doesn't turn as quickly and actually it's a little easier to aim. So let's try it again. Yeah, it didn't work quite as well as I wanted. I think that might be aimed just about right. Let's drop a cannonball in there. I don't I keep calling them cannonballs. They're not cannonballs. We don't have cannons. All right. And then fire and F8. <laughs> Okay, that was actually surprisingly close. Just need to aim a little bit to the right, and we might actually succeed at this. That's not how you're supposed to thing. Hey. Also, you can load two of these small projectiles in. But I haven't fired it yet that way, so let's see what happens. Eh, didn't work quite right. That didn't work. I think we're going to have to try something else. Hey guys, can you just do me a favor? Don't go inside the castle while I'm gone, okay? Yeah, thanks. Oh, I need to eat. Are you carrying any food? Yes, you are. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm just curious how far they rolled, you know? Gotta look for dips, you know? So if I were a ball, where would I roll? Aha! Here's one. I am quite a way... That's... That is the fortress over there. Yeah. I found one. Some of them might have also rolled back toward the keep, so... Oh! <laughs> and three of them landed right here. And I know I saw that one roll back this way. Oh yeah, there it is. Thanks for keeping it safe, guys. Hey, um... Also, thanks for not going in the castle while I was gone. I really appreciate that. Anybody else? All of these claim blocks are about to expire. So if I want to do any traveling, I need to set up claim blocks at the border between this slot and this one here. So we should probably do that. By the way, I have also heard that you it's not just projectiles that will automatically load. Now you can put anything in there. Like, I could put my sword in there and it would fly. But, apparently you can put other things in there automatically when you hit F. Like, do you see that? That's a skull. That was one of the barbarian skulls, and you can fire those. I wonder if they have the same trajectories. Let's find out. Did it explode on contact? We might have to try that again. Wait a minute. How did you... That's not how to physics. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not how physics works. Okay. By the way, I had some other suggestions on how to handle this. Some of which were pretty good. But I want to go set up those claim blocks first. Let me know if you see a skull along the way. There we go. Contested for 30 seconds. And contested for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. And let's see. Okay, so three iron ingots gives me 12 hours. So that's four hours per ingot. Speaking of which, copper ingots are half that. So... Okay, there's going to be two hours each. Metal parts, ten of them, are worth 
four hours and 50 minutes, almost five hours. Yeah, that is actually worth a lot more than copper. So if I use copper ingots to make metal parts, then I'm gaining well over double. That's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it, yeah, seven hours and 15 minutes for 15 metal parts. That's my new favorite. That's great. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do 15 each, and then later on we'll come pay those up even further. All right, and now that should mean that I can fast travel so I can jump over to farm. I wanted to just grab a little bit of food while I'm here because I'm actually running kind of low back at the uh, keep. So I'm just gonna grab half of everything on this table and I might as well come back with some other stuff. All right, let's head back. Oh, huh, these guys are gone. Did I kill them? I don't remember killing them. They, they didn't come in here, did they? Huh. Okay. Wait, they didn't despawn, did they? Harold, no! Harold despawned. I'm so sad. You know what they say if you have a pet. If you love it, let it despawn. And if it respawns, then it really loves you too. What do you say we work on this thing a little bit more? My new goal is to hit the king statue out there. I think I can do it. Okay, so that's about where I want it to stop. So if we put a rope eye plate like right there and right there, and then we hook it up with string, with rope. Is it possible that that's going to stop it? I think it will. So if I pull this back, when I release, see, it'll actually stop where it's supposed to. Okay. That's actually a lot better than having a crossbar. So we're going to get rid of these. Okay. Well, let's fire like this and see what happens. Yeah, that bounced. I honestly think it wasn't pulled back fur enough. I just said fur enough, by the way. You know, I'm thinking that my whole, like, put this on a catch block thing is not working as well as I want. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna rebuild this in a different way. I learned a lot from designing this, and I think I can design this a lot better. Ooh, what horrible things will happen if I remove this crossbeam here. <laughs> I thought something like that might happen. Okay, nice clean area to work with. Okay, so let's start off with just a floor structure. Something that we can work with. A torsion spring. Now we need some catch blocks. Yeah, and that's actually fairly centered. So F goes different directions with these, which makes sense, but I'm thinking that... So right now I switched it around so that they would be mirrored, but if I don't mirror them, so the larger side, you can see that it's a little bit thicker there than it is on this side. The thicker side is to the left, and I have a feeling that the way this works, I hadn't really paid much attention to it before, but I think if that thicker side is to your left, F is like pulling the top toward you. Oh, you're standing right there, huh? I want to play with you. Can I reach... Yes, I can. <laughs> Come join me! <laughs> He's stuck between the two. Ooh, are you going to be my new herald? How can I get you into that space? Maybe what we need is a dungeon underneath and a way to kind of lure these guys in and then drop them into it. Ooh, I like this idea. Sorry, ADD time. So if I remove this and I set up some kind of, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I just, okay, okay, okay. My brain just had a thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I said. So I can kind of make a floor out of these. And if I run across this straight, no problem. Ow! Seriously! Dude! I'm trying to build a trap here. Just be patient. Good grief. So, if you walk across straight, you're fine. But if you walk across at any angle... Oh, come on. Is it not going to rotate? Ah, there we go. <laughs> it dumps you down. Uh, okay, I'm going to play with that. We also need to prepare a place down here. I don't want a barbarian down here running around, like, taking out my foundation pieces. Okay, we're going to work on this next episode. Because... There's going to be no more prep necessary than I have time for this episode. And then next time we'll play with that idea. Come on in, dude. Hey, you better have bandages on you. You don't. You don't even have food on you. Mmm, shroom steak. Mmm, bandages are delicious. Oh, and the sun's going down again, too. Let's set that as our stop point. Pull this down and release. Ho ho ho! Okay, <laughs> we might have to do some stuff to keep it from doing that. So I could do something like this. Oh, it barely moves at all. Beautiful. Before we lose the light, let's take one quick shot and see what happens. Eh, not too bad. I saw it land over here somewhere. Okay, but the light is failing us, so we're going to have to do some indoor work or something along those lines for a little while. Wait, no. What am I thinking? Never mind. We are way over on this episode. We don't have time to do anything like that. Also, just a set of quadruplets down there. Or possibly two sets of twins. Either way, they need to die. So, while I go get rid of some barbarians, how about you go and press that like button? And the subscribe button? Throw in a quick little comment, maybe. Drop by the Discord server. And remember, it's only okay to kill twins when it's in a video game. Bye. I'll see you guys next time on Epic Tech. Oh my goodness. It's three sets of twins. Well, now it's a set of triplets and a, and a set of twins. Is that called a full house? <laughs>